Hey guys, it's Pope. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm about two and a half weeks out from the Atlanta Pro Show. I'm really excited about this show. I know I'm going to be bringing a better package to the stage than I did in Alabama a few weeks ago. Food is really low, cardio is really high. I am really pushing myself to bring better conditioning to the stage this time. That was the feedback that I got from the judges in Alabama. They wanted me to improve my lower body conditioning a little bit. And I think I'm going to be doing just that. I know that my leg conditioning has improved already and I still got a little bit of time left. So today I'm going to be pushing a hard leg day. It is the glute and hamstring focused workout. So that's what's on the menu, but I'm gonna throw in a little bit of quad work too, because I'm just really trying to bring out that definition in my quads to, like I said, bring a better package to the show. About to get warmed up, I have a new flavor of pounce as my pre-workout today. Not gonna reveal what that flavor is just yet, probably in the next video. We are waiting on the Band Substance certificate for that, and then we'll be ready to launch, so that's exciting. And we also have a restock coming on protein that everybody's gonna be happy about. <laughs> so yeah, get warmed up now and start with some Smith Machine back squats. Cardio is next level right now. I'm pretty weak right now with how little that I'm eating. So what I'm trying to get out of this workout today, I've programmed high reps. And so I'm trying to really exhaust my muscle with whatever strength I do have right now. So with these Smith Machine squats, I'm just trying to really get a nice pump in my glutes and my quads. And we're doing a drop set. So just trying to, like I said, exhaust the muscle while I don't have that raw strength that usually I can get a lot of work in in my workouts. So just approaching it a little bit different while my calories are really low. Booty Builder, we're doing what I like to call elevator reps, where you go pause halfway, pause at the top, pause halfway down, and then at the bottom. I'm doing that on a lot of exercises for this July block of my training plan. And the concept is the same as I was talking about doing lightweight with drop sets on the Smith Machine squat, same here with the pauses, just trying to make lighter weights harder, just another way to train versus loading up the weight. Another option is to do pause and tempo work. So we got a lot of that going on this month. Then I moved into hamstring curl. Ideally, I would have done seated curl because we've done a lot of lying curl lately, but this gym didn't have a seated curl. So stuck with the lying hamstring curl today, pushed that pretty hard, which felt good. Now doing a little superset with good morning and some single leg bridges. I've been able to keep my glutes on much better. 
after training like a whole year solid of some glute hypertrophy work versus before when I was doing weightlifting, my glutes were only there from squatting. So my glutes have definitely developed a lot more now. So they're hanging in there while I'm lean. And I thought that that part of things in the Alabama show looked really good on the back of my leg. Now if I could get my hamstring to pop out a little more. Home from the gym now, feeling pretty terrible. The only carbs I'm having right now are pre and post workout, so I'm really excited to eat this, <laughs> which says a lot since this is chicken and green beans. But there is 60 grams of rice in here, which will bring me back to life at least for a little while. And having some of this sweet poppy sauce on it, which is basically mustard and some spices, it has very little calories in it, one carb. What are you having, Scarlett? What are you sneaking out of the pantry over there? Oh yeah, that's much tastier. <laughs> Usually how the programming is set up, that workout that I just did is glute and hamstring and then an accessory shoulder day. We have one main shoulder day and then there's a little bit of shoulders at the end of this workout too. But during prep, since I'm so low energy, don't have much to give after doing those gluten hamstring exercises. I've been breaking up the shoulder work and I'll do that tomorrow morning instead. Spending the rest of today working on a product shoot for that new flavor of Pounce pre-workout that I was telling you guys about. It's a really fun flavor, so this will be a fun vibe photo shoot. Did my hair funky for it, about to put on some crazy makeup. The workout I did today is included on the July programming for Dynamic Fitness. Those are the same workouts that I follow that I offer to the public on a group program. It's a strictly bodybuilding program with like some powerlifting thrown in there because I really like doing the compound movements. Not all bodybuilders train the compound movements, but I like to keep them in there with the background that I have and the experience that I have. I just love doing things like back squat, bench, deadlift. So stuff like that is sprinkled in there as well. It's a really fun program. Um, really good reviews on it if you want to go check that out on my website. It's only $18 a month for a full program. Uh, so yeah, I'd love to have you come train with me. Go check that out on my website, dynamicpursuit.net. Right now I'm feeling really motivated to document this series of shows that I'm planning to do. So I hope to see you guys back on here really soon, hopefully next week. Subscribe to my channel, like this video if you enjoyed it. That definitely motivates me to keep making more content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.